Le Guy. Works his way into the zone. We'll throw a put back on there. He's free in front of the net and fired hope. And that's one nothing in favour of the Sheffield Steelers. Great instinct in front of the net. Yeah, if you watch the original shot, I think Michael Henrik actually redirects this. So the rebound pops out to the uh, to the right of Zacharias. Obviously popular with Steelers fans after his uh, baseball swing of a slash on Simon Ferguson last season, for which he got three game suspension. As Simeone finishes beautifully. Watch him work his way through here. And he almost manages to make his way through untouched. Simeone takes the pass here. Has loads to do, just cuts into the middle and fires one low into the bottom yeah. corner. Very nice man though, Kelsey Wilson. Yeah. We had an excellent chat. As uh, you tend to find most of them, they tend to be gentle giants off the ice, a lot of them. Yeah, absolutely, especially the guys that uh, don't mind throwing the gloves off. They're uh, usually the nicest gentlemen off the ice as well. So, Although on it, you, you, know, you wouldn't want to meet him in a dark corner, would you? <laughs> I want to meet him in a bright corner, frankly. <laughs> the speedy, speedy comes in. Tim Spencer plays that role for the Steelers and has done very well. Fired, meanwhile, by Phillips. The puck is still free and it's snuck in and it's 3-0. That's Jason Hewitt. Yep. And he enjoyed that one. Yeah, Jason Hewitt and Jonathan Phillips combining well. and Just getting into the primary scoring area, getting down low. The first shot just squealed out in front. The rebound wasn't cleared and dealt with by the Blaze. And Hewitt was all over that one. Four nil down at the end of the first period is a hill that most teams would dread having to climb, particularly against the team that does have the quality of the Sheffield Steelers when it's all firing. Puck is being worked around for Fata now. Lugui, Fata will fire and Fata will put that one straight into the back of the net with an absolute bullet. It's and four nothing. And again, the simple things for the Steelers. Egner a little bit out of position here traffic in front no one moving the man down then they don't anticipate the pass straight back up to Fata great point shot from Drew Fata Ligui hard work from Kelsey Wilson but it's fed out again for Dowd this time he got a little too fancy Ligui though Langley Great pass to the back post, tipped, and that's 5 nothing. What a wow. beauty. Oh, wow. If you watch the Steelers here, they had four men up high. You count them one at the point. All four guys near the blue line. One man in front. And that, that looks just like it completely bamboozled the blaze where to be positionally. The quick one-two pass. Max Lacroix, second of the night in front. It's 5 nothing, Sheffield. So they just stop, yeah, just stop the bleeding. First of all, Mike Henrik has now moved back to forward. He's on a line with Adam Henrik and Ashley Tate to start this period. Steelers with Rob Dowd. Steve Gertzen's heading for the back post, and it's six. What a pass! And Stephen Gertzen finishes that, drives it like a rapier into the roof of the net. Look at the pass from Dowd. Excellent skate route as well from Gertz and you know, we, we talked earlier in the first period after the delay in face off uh, about how players could be unsettled by it and I don't know whether that is the primary cause for the commentary base tonight but well, it seems like it might have something to do with it uh, uh, completely unsettled them after three wins on the trot including a fantastic win last night against Hull well, Ryan Janand, Harvey and Janice have got a 3 on 0. Pass across, Harvey scores! The Blaze get one back. He will be leaving the Skydome after this evening, and what a way to go. Great pass from Janand. Janice trailed on this 3 on 0. No mistake from Kevin Harvey. Doyle was on his belly, and this could be the start of climbing the mountain pole. Is that put will squirt out for De Casemiro. 
He went down to his knees and no arm coming up from Tom Donnell, Paul. I thought that was a, a clear-cut trip. I thought that was a nailed-on penalty for Di Casemiro. I think, ironically, if he hadn't worked so hard to keep control, the penalty possibly would have been called. Shot from Shellstrom and it's throwing in. Tipped by Adam Henrik in front of the net. And another claw up the side of the grave from the Coventry Blades. And again, I keep talking about the simp hockey. Henrik just coasts in front, calls the screen, gets the tip. Spencer doesn't deal with him. Shellstrom shot nice and low through the legs. Good tip from Adam Henrik in front. Might even want to come off Spencer. But that gives the Blades a little bit more lifeline. It's the Steelers 6, the Blades 2. Tanaka will pump that one round the glass and Danny Mayers will pick it up and quickly advance. De Casemiro, him and Tanaka collide at the blue line. Good little hit there put on by De Casemiro, but he felt the results. Yeah, he's limping. Is De Casemiro dragging his right leg behind him. Looks like a bit of a stinger though, because he's uh, just taken the bench without the Steelers physio looking at him. Here goes Jin Andal, five and it's through Doyle! It's 6-3, the comeback's on. Oh, Ryan Janan, and he enjoyed that one. Simple play, I think, again from the Blaze. Janan just pick up a loose puck in the zone. The defenseman backing off, backing off, and I think Jad Langley screened Doyle from the looks of his body position. The puck sat up on the stick of Janan as he hits it. You never know where they're going to go when that happens. No mistaking, though, through the legs of Doyle, it's 6 3 Steelers. Dumped in by Hewitt. Zacharias goes behind his net to play it. Shellstrom is with him. Just gives the puck away and that's a dodgy ricochet but it might have worked. Adam Henrik is through. He's in on Doyle. Henrik goes round him and puts it wide. That could have been the moment. Oh my goodness. He had the whole net completely bamboozled. Doyle had the whole net. Oh, Fatter. Pronounce it both ways. Poked through. Fatter again, mishandles the puck and Mike Henrik's away. And he has Ashley Tate going through the middle. Tate for Henrik, Tate scores! It's 6-4. Excellent, excellent play by Mike Henrik. It started off with the mishandle of the puck in the corner along the boards. Henrik stripped him, came in on two. And Baldwin got back well, but he went straight across the puck carrier. Should have taken the lane. The pass went across. Ashley Tate picked it up. No mistake from the former Sheffield Steelers captain. Now the Coventry Blaze captain. It's 6-4 Steelers. But the Blaze are edging ever so close to that lead that we called insurmountable. 